you've been breastfeeding your baby six months from when they were born so how do you know that your baby is ready for solids how do you know that this little one that has just been on milk only is now ready to start eating food At six months, most babies are actually ready to start eating solid food. But sometimes some babies might not quite be there, especially if a baby was born early. A premature baby that was born five, six, seven weeks early might not actually be ready to start eating solids at six months. So what are some of the signs that tell you that this baby is ready? Number one, they should have doubled their birth weight. So for example, if they were born at three kilos, they should be at the very least six kilos. This ensures that even as they start eating and this places more um, work to the body, the body is still having a, a good weight, um, maintaining a good weight for their health. Your baby should be able to sit up with or without support, but able to sit. If they're not still able to sit, sometimes you might need to give them a bit of time. Your baby should be able to do a little press up. When you put them on the tummy, they're able to lift themselves up, lift their upper body. That is also important because it just tells you that the upper part of the gut has lengthened and that ensures that food is not going to come back very fast. Your baby should also uh, show interest in food. So you know when you're eating and they're following the food, they follow the spoon, and then as you chew, they chew and they salivate and they pour, you know, they, they're just looking like, I wanna eat that food, they grab. So those are very good signs that your baby is ready to start eating. Your baby also um, would, would start looking like, you know, the milk that they're taking is not quite enough. You give them milk, but they're like, you know, if they look like they're really, really interested in eating. So all those are good signs that your baby is eating. If you have three or four of those signs, then it's a good time to eat. Another question that I get so many times from moms is, so what does six months mean? What, what do you mean? So the best way to guide you is you should count 180 days from when your baby was born then at the 180th day that's when you start feeding your baby so if you do the math you're able to really really be quite accurate about when to feed your baby when you do start feeding your baby ensure that number one it is based on your family meals it's not based on you know foods that you don't eat yourself when you give foods foods that you eat yourself those are familiar foods because the flavors of your food actually are passed on through amniotic fluid they're also passed on through your breast milk so these are familiar flavors for your baby so there's more food acceptability your baby is more likely to accept these foods they're also less likely to have allergies because these are foods that have been exposed to their system from when you are pregnant through through breastfeeding and now they start eating it's gonna be easier they're also more accessible it means that if you eat this food it means it's in your house, you're able to afford it, you've been eating it, you're more likely to afford it to be able to give your baby. So feed your baby the same foods that you eat yourself. Feeding the baby the same food you eat also ensures that they get the taste and the flavors of the family. You build the palate. The palate is that taste of food and appreciation of food. If you give very foreign foods, when now you want this baby to start eating your foods or transitioning to your family foods, you find that the baby doesn't want because they've gotten a palate for different foods. Another thing to consider is that your baby should not eat a lot of food. We call it complementary feeding. We are complementing breast milk. Breast milk or milk remains the main food for your baby. So it means that the food is just coming to add onto the baby's diet. It is not replacing the milk. So the milk will still form most of what the baby is eating. So most babies will start off eating two to three tablespoons, that's it, once or twice a day at the beginning from around six months. And then you go increasing the, 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 the quantities and the, the periods of the frequencies that you're feeding your baby as the baby grows. But even up to one year, breast milk remains the main food for your baby. That's what actually should form the bulk of what the baby is, is taking. So as you feed your baby, Check your baby's signs of readiness, feed your baby your same family foods, ensure that milk remains the main food, and finally, ensure that it is responsive feeding. If your, your, your baby is saying, I don't want, they close their mouth, they turn away, they don't want to eat, no force feeding. 
You want your baby to build a good relationship with food. You want your baby to see food and actually think it's a fun time. So when you're feeding your baby, shut off all distractions, TV and all that. Pay attention to the baby. Do stuff like, well done baby, sing to baby. You know what our mothers used to do? Drive an aeroplane as the spoon comes to the mouth. All those things make it such fun for your baby to eat. And guess what? Your baby will enjoy eating. If you force feed your baby, your baby will hate food. And if a baby hates food, eventually you can't win that war. It's a war you can't win. So it's better to teach your baby to enjoy food, no force feeding. I am here for you. So if you've got any question, any query, any challenge, anything that you're going through and you just need another voice to take you through it, get in touch with me. You can DM me, you know, you can write me a text. You can, you know, WhatsApp me, but you know what? Better yet, take a video, a short video, WhatsApp it to me, and the next show might just be about you. <laughs>